Hey guys, I'm Pokemon Tanny6 and welcome back to a brand new video. Once again, this is another... Another one. Anime unboxing video. So, this one in particular is a show that I've been trying to get my hands on for like the longest time. And it's a show that's been out since like, God, I want to say maybe this came out mid-2000s. It's a real wide, popular, known anime series. It's by... The two that are my favorite, I can, I'm not good with pronouncing names, but I'll put their names right here somewhere where you can see them. But they're my favorite manga artist and manga writer. Besides this series, they've made stuff like Bakuman, which is another one of my favorite series. And no, I'm not talking about the Bakuman where they, you know, have a little, little, little ball things and they come rolling out and then they turn into like, this little creature thing. No, I'm not talking about those. I'm talking about Bakuman, the two about the kids who are in middle school, who meet in middle school. One wants to be a manga artist like his uncle. One wants to be a manga writer. They team up and they become a duo. And then they also made another one that's one of my favorites called Platinum End. And I don't think this one has an anime series yet. The manga, they're only on volume 10 and I'm caught up on that in America. I know you can read probably ahead online and stuff, but I'm lazy, so. This series in particular is Death Note. Got the screwdriver here, got my package here. Yep, all right, cool. All right. Shonen Jump Death Note, the complete series on Blu-ray. Like I mentioned before, Death Note is one of my favorite anime series. I actually never really read the manga, I started with the anime series. I knew friends of mine in high school and some friends I still have now that read the manga and then watched the anime or did both at the same time. I watched the anime when back when Netflix had a huge library of English dub and English sub anime series. That's where I watched Death Note from was I just binged it in like one week or like in two days. I think I even binged it in two days or a week and, and I was a sophomore in high school and I just fell in love with it ever since. I am that much of a Death Note fan. I have, if you saw my Pop Finger collection, you would know I have three out of, I think four. I don't know if they released any more Death Note figures or not. If they did, I'm gonna have to cop some more, but I only have three out of the four that I knew they originally released or that they released here. And that is Light Yagami, Ryuk, and L. The fourth one is L eating cake, but I didn't really get that one. Cause I was like, I just want L. I have that, I have the Death Note special edition all in one manga where it's like literally the whole manga series in one book. I now have Death Note, the complete series on anime. I need to get a Death Note poster or some artwork. Man, I know Afro Senju was in one of my favorite YouTube rappers. YouTube rappers. <laughs> one of my favorite YouTubers. He had some nice, some really spicy looking Death Note art in his living room. And I was hella jealous because it looked so good. And I'm like, man, I need to cop me some artwork of Death Note in my room. I, I'm, I'm, I know I'm talking about the series way too much, but just let me, just, just, he just let me, just let me rant. Let me, let me babble. Man, it is, it is just so good. And I mean, I'm talking about the an, the anime series. I'm not talking about the live action ones that they did in Japan, cause I didn't like those. I saw, I didn't see the third one or any of the others or the television series they did in Japan. I only saw Death Note and then Death Note 2, which was literally just, there's the, it was all one film, but they split into two parts. Uh, I think I think that's how they did. No, no, it was two separate films, but they just did it back to they just filmed them back to back. Although the actor that they got to play Light Yagami, he's one of my favorite Japan. Uh, he's one of my favorite Japanese uh, actors because I liked him in um, Battle Royale. I liked him in that a lot. That was actually really good. He did a good job in that, and I think you know, despite how I don't like that one, I I will say he did a good job as Light Yagami in that film. I thought it was, and I will say it's definitely better than the Netflix one because I mean, let's be honest, guys. The net, the Netflix one was literal, was like a literal piece of. Shit. It was just so bad. I mean, Ryuk was probably like the only good thing out of it, which was voiced who was voiced by William Defoe, but like Lakeith Stanfield, he did an okay job as L. He was pretty good, but 
he was a little too over the top and too like spazzy and L was not that spazzy. And then I didn't like how he had, you know, okay, you know what, you know what? I'm rambling off a topic that's for a later video. Let's go ahead and open the anime series up. And if you're wondering how much this was, I only paid like $20 for it on Amazon. Cause currently, I don't know if this is still going on or not, but Amazon has been having like a sale on anime series to where they dropped the price down to where they're selling like a like Cowboy Bebop the complete series. They're selling that for like $16.99. All right, found the gloss. Here it is. Here it is. Bada boom, bada boom. I will say what I liked about the the and the um, the series the and uh, the anime was I liked compared to how we portrayed L and other stuff. He man light not L light Yagami was dark man 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 man. That's why I kind of liked it because I was like oh man this dude's dark He's trying to become God and shit. what I thought was messed up was how this man as he got older would like play people like he. He played Misa Misa. He played that one woman who worked, I think, as a news anchor or something like that. Or she was a journalist or one of the two. And he played with her because I remember they met, I believe, back then when he was in university. And I think they were a thing back then or she liked him. Spoiler, by the way, this is a spoiler. <coughs> All right. So when L died, bro. That was like, whoa, he actually did it. Like that was one of those moments to where it was like, he actually freaking did it. And it was like, yo, and then Watari, or Watari, you pronounce his name? Man, that was like, oh my God, damn. Why are you killing the homies, man? Why are you killing the good people? But man, when they introduced the Mello and Nier who were competing to be L's successor, which I mean, I thought it was kind of funny how you have one opposite looking dude who was a little, little bastard, a little head, and then you had Nier who looked just like L, except with platinum blonde hair. He dressed like L, except, you know, he wore lighter jeans and he wore button, a long sleeve button up whites. And instead of being obsessed with candy and sweets he was obsessed with playing with toys there's a fact that like l l knew but that you know that light was kita but he never like really like did anything with it he did he did do stuff like you know throughout the show but he never like you know was like y'all yeah, i'm 100 percent sure that uh, you are kita and we got you son but near right off the bat was just like yeah yeah this nigga's kita bro this nigga's cute, bro. He, yup, nope, nope, that's a wrap, we done. But then in the last episode where Light went batshit crazy and they lit his ass up. Just the last episode is just, oh, 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 oh. That had me on the edge of my seat, my God. If you guys haven't seen Death Note, if you really haven't, or if you wanna watch it again, if you need a series that you like just to rewatch, rewatch Death Note. I'm about to watch it. I'm about to watch it a third time. I already saw it once on Netflix. I saw it when it was on. It's still on Hulu. If you have Hulu, it's it's on Hulu. You know, I watched. That's how I watched it the second time with my girlfriend. Because my girlfriend wanted to watch it. That's how we watched it. Because you know, Netflix took all the good stuff off. Had all the seasons of Hunter x Hunter. Took them off. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up because you know this video is dragging on. I'm just talking so much. Oh well. Um, ooh, you were wondering why I was staring at the ground. Part of the Blu-ray case on the inside, I think a little part of it broke. There are pieces that are like falling out. So there's like a little Misa Misa artwork in here. You can kind of look at her, her legs are like right there and stuff. But there goes this one. This two, this three, this four, and this five. And I'm gonna take out this five, so maybe we can get a better look at the Misa Misa artwork. Damn, she's so damn fine, bro. Oh, I know I sound like a creep, but man, there she is right there. Misa Misa. And the fact that she had the Shinigami eyes, bro. Light was a dumbass, bro, because Misa Misa, man, he could have had, 
he she was wifey material she was like yeah like whatever you need she was all lovey and cutesy it was all like yeah babe whatever you need i believe they even had a place together and stuff you know and it was just like why are you treating her like shit, bro she's been doing everything for you to help you out with your master plan on becoming the new light of uh, god practically and you gonna treat her like shit, bro that's a damn shame man go watch this series y'all go watch it now if you do purchase this through amazon there is a warning because i question it myself so when you order it on amazon it will say when you scroll down and you look at like if it says like the audio subtitles all of that it will just only say japanese and that's not true because this is it's if you read the back and if you look on it it is an english dub as well because some of the behind the scenes features include behind the scenes footage with the English and Japanese voice cast. It even says it's in English on here too. It's in English dub and then Japanese sub of course. But I was confused because I'm like, oh man, I'm not gonna buy this. But then somebody, the first person in the comments said this to where they was like, you know, if you're wondering why well, I always says Japanese, it's not only in Japanese, it's in English. It says it on the back of the case because I bought it and I'm watching an English dub so all right uh for those of you that really don't know much about Death Note I basically already explained it kind of but I didn't go in depth so I'll just read the back but the Death Note in his hands like Yagami believes he has the power to create a perfect world by eliminating the unjust unfortunately he may be the only one who believes this the fallout of his actions leads to everyone to think a serial killer is in their most or in their midst now light must match with Match wits with a mysterious young detective named L, who is much closer to the dark truth than than either world oh, than either would like. Okay, so special features include three hours of extra content, including interviews with the Japanese creators, behind the scene footage with the English and Japanese voice cast, production art, audio commentary, and much more. It's just so nice to own, just to finally own a series that you really liked and that was a part of like your childhood almost, man. <laughs> Alrighty guys, thank you guys for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe to Afro Geek the channel. Don't forget to turn on post notifications. That way you guys get notified when I upload a new video. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to check out my Twitter and follow me at Afro Geek 3. Don't forget to also subscribe to my gaming channel, Pokemon Tiny 6. Don't forget to follow me on SoundCloud. It's linked in the description below. And don't forget to enter the giveaway for Madaka Box Season 2 Ad Normal. It's gonna be great. What's funny is still no one has entered, but that's okay. I'm a small channel, and you know, probably people don't really feel like doing all that stuff anyway, which is understandable. But you know, be nice if at least one person entered it. That way I can give it to somebody because seriously, guys, I don't want to give this to a store or anything. I want to give it back to the anime community. I want to give it to someone who's actually going to be thrilled that they received the anime series or someone who wants to watch it and you know or just needs season two. Sentai Filmworks is still having their sale. 95% uh, off certain selections. You know free shipping over purchases $50 and up. You know go check that out. You know it's still going. I'm probably going to get one more series from there and kind of just have it be like my late Christmas or early birthday present. But yes enter the giveaway. It ends December 20th. Please enter someone. I don't care if it's just one person. Enter. Otherwise, I'm gonna give it to somebody. I don't care who. I'm giving it to somebody. Alrighty, guys, I am Afro Geek Plus Ocean Happy, and your boy is just sound.